feed. And in the case of the antlion larvae, that weapon is a deadly pitfall trap. No larger than a paper clip, this voracious little predator has jaws almost as large as its body. They function as a front-end loader, grasping and tossing pebbles out from the bottom of its funnel-shaped chamber. The sides of its pit are stable, but steep enough to collapse under the slightest weight. Antlions often build pits in clusters, turning the ground into a veritable minefield for passing prey. The antlion now simply sits and waits. Even for a slater with many sets of legs, the fine loose sand provides no traction and it flounders helplessly towards the antlion's jaws. They function like hypodermic syringes, both injecting venom and then sucking out the prey's soft body contents. The same feeding method used by other trap builders, the spiders. Spiders may not be the super athletes of the animal kingdom, but they do have the ability to weave elaborate silken traps strategically positioned to capture their unsuspecting prey. Webs can be simple in design, like that of this two-spine spider, or more complex, like the web of the golden orb weaver, a species found throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. This spider's web is known to be among the strongest of all webs. For its diameter, it has a greater tensile strength than steel. Yet it still retains its elasticity, stretching twice as far as the same length of nylon. Such is the remarkable composition of these silken threads that while prey sticks on contact, the weaver of the maze can move freely. They are designed not in a random fashion, but precisely positioned to be in the flight path of insects. Orb weavers are prolific producers of silk, able to spin out almost a kilometre in less than 10 minutes. Some is used to wrap prey into food parcels to be accessed when needed. With the very tips of their legs poised on the strands, spiders can detect the slightest vibrations which signal potential food or possible danger. Webs are both an elaborate trap and an alarm system. Like most spiders, the orb weaver's web is the key to its livelihood, its weapon for survival. The Porsche is exceptional among spiders. It uses stealth as its weapon, with other spiders as its victims. It can outwit its dangerous prey by penetrating the protective webs that surround them. Both a stalker and a mimic, it uses many forms of deception. Deliberate and jerky movements mesmerize other spiders on its approach. They don't register the arrival of a potential predator. By strumming the web with its legs, it can imitate the vibrations of a gentle breeze or the struggles of an ensnared insect. The 
Portia's extraordinary weapon allows it to prowl where other hunters would fear to tread. The Portia moves on the fine silk, and although twice the weight of the resident spider, it shows no reaction to the intruder. One hesitant step after another, the Portia makes its final approach. Remarkably, it has devised a way of tight web walking without detection. Once within reach, the Portia makes a final leap. And this spider meets its end in the jaws of one of the forest's masters of deception. What makes the Porsche's weapon so remarkable is that it can walk on many different types of webs. Probably the most complex and chaotic of all spiders' webs are that of the redback. And never more so than when a female is in the protective care of egg sacs. The redback is one of the world's most venomous spiders. Yet she is blind and cannot see an approaching predator. But her highly developed ability to sense movement on the web is both her weapon of defense and attack. Surprisingly, redbacks too are one of the Porsche's prey but not without great risk to both species. A redback's web is a labyrinth of silken threads, a complex alarm system. The Porsche's four sets of eyes are focused on her targets. After weeks in the safety of their silken chamber, the red-backed spiderlings emerge. A most vulnerable time for them, even under the guard of their vigilant mother. These young spiders are known cannibals and will readily attack and kill their siblings. But today, their main threat is not from their own kind, but from the young Portia. Only weeks old, it is poised to attack. While a fully grown Porsche would tackle the adult redback, this youngster waits for a less risky source of food to become available. One stride in the wrong direction could spell certain death. The redback senses the intrusion. She moves her egg sac deep within the maze of tripwires, making the Porsche's opportunity for attack even more precarious. the delicate young continue to emerge.
Her inexperience puts her at a disadvantage, as does her size. Such weight on the fine threads makes navigating difficult. She must mimic the vibrations caused by the spiderlings and also keep her distance from the adult. Although born with an innate ability to web walk, she is still refining her skills. A mistake would come at a high price. Newborn redbacks are already armed with venom, yet their tiny fangs are not strong enough to inflict a deadly bite. Their defence is safety in numbers and an inherited skill of moving quickly along their silken highways. But the Porsche must move slowly and cautiously. For like an intruder weaving through a maze of movement sensors, a false move would activate the alarm. Where other creatures would become entangled, she moves undetected, awaiting her opportunity to snatch a victim from its web. Finally, her efforts are rewarded. Some creatures use a weapon that extends their own reach. They are projectile weapons. The chameleon is an unusual reptile found throughout Asia and Africa. Its camouflage is highly sophisticated. Not only does its green colouring blend with the shades of the forest, but it is able to make rapid colour changes as it moves from one shade of green to another. With its strange gripping feet and hands, it moves freely through the foliage. Its tail, too, is prehensile, able to grasp twigs and branches when its limbs are needed elsewhere. 